last one, Billy. We got trouble, boys. Sheriff Ray and a posse are coming in from Lincoln. Let's go! Where's Mr. Tunstall? He's okay. For now. Looks like Dolan's fixing to steal his ranch. Come on, boys! <laughs> What does he want, the Sheriff? Dolan and the Sheriff have just taken over my store in Lincoln. And now they want the ranch, too. Mr. Reinison here says that even by the highly flexible standards of the territory of New Mexico, in the year of our grace, 1879, this is... What was the word you used? Most irregular. But then we really don't have no proper governor. Dolan runs Lincoln County. Dolan tells Brady what to do, always has. And that's just about the way it is. Well, Billy, what would you do if you were me? I'd run. I'd hide in hills. And then when I was good and ready, I'd swoop down and take back what was mine with interest. Bright kid. Well, well, well. Mr. Dolan himself. He's brought his pet sheriff with him. You know, Dolan won't stop until he's taken the whole of Lincoln County. Now, I don't want you to make any trouble, Billy. Let's just see what he wants. Welcome to the Rio Feliz Ranch, Mr. Dolan. Thank you very much. A very handsome place you have around here. I had no idea. Thank you. Hello, Reinerson. Mr. Dolan, I hope you have time to stay for tea. We have so much to talk about. Well, that's a very kind offer. I'd like that very much, but unfortunately, I am expected back in Lincoln. You know these two gentlemen here, huh? Sheriff Brady, Bill Morton? By reputation only, gentlemen. We're coming right to the point, Mr. Tunstall. This here is a writ of attachment for everything here, except your personal horses. Tomorrow, Mr. Tunstall, if you're not gone from what's no longer your property, I will arrest you. <clears throat> Sheriff Brady, he's a real diamond in the rough. Extraordinarily rough. Good day, gentlemen. Mr. Tunstall, we ought to go now. Tomorrow's too late. I oh, don't worry. We'll start early tomorrow and we'll go to the governor. I can't just stand by and let Dolan take everything I own. Sir, let me go with you. I can... I can protect you. I'm not armed. Isn't that the law of the West? No one shoots an unarmed man. 
<laughs> Especially on the Santa Fe Road. Mr. Thompson, sir, Sheriff Brady don't believe in loss of any kind any more than his boss told him does. Not just look how they got hold of your store and now your ranch. Now, ah, Billy, go on back. Mr. Tunstall, take this. How can I take this? This is my present to you. Mr. Tunstall, you give me everything I own. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Billy, go on back. <laughs> Come on, Billy, let's head to Lincoln. Well, Charlie here's just dying to take a room in a hotel. Charlie ain't never slept in a hotel. Lie through your teeth, boy. I wanted for to get me a woman. And take a bath. Shoot, I ain't had a bath all winter. It's been so cold. Well, bathing's bad for you anyway. My old daddy, he went his whole life. He never took a bath. Well, how was your pa when he died? <laughs> Sheriff. Is he dead? Man that is born of woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down. Like a flower, he fleeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Then knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. You are the next of kin. <coughs> First cousin, uh, once removed, actually. Under mighty God, we commend the soul of our brother departed. We commit his to the earth. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> room with a big bath and a bed for three maybe four yes sir number six ah mr bonnie <clears throat> might i offer you a libation of a funerary nature to that blessed gentleman my cousin mr tonstall don't drink too young you darn fool don't even shave ah uh, another time perhaps Hi, boy. Hey, uh... ah such subtle manners no wonder you were Mr. Tunstall's favorite. Well, uh, <clears throat> the sheriff has plans for you. Come on, Billy. Then it. You are a witness, you see. Brady knows that you. How shall I describe you? An angel in disguise. Observed him shoot in cold blood an unarmed man and friend of our sovereign, President Hayes. You are a witness to murder. And in the midst of life, we are in death. Mm -hmm. Of whom may we seek for succor? <laughs> uh, 
You are angelic. I want to know five things. Yeah. Only five. Mm -hmm. Stop, Brady. One, where she live? Two, which route do you take in the morning? I cannot leave these muddy waters. I wait, you rolling river. Is you stuck in them muddy waters, Tom, old boy? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, we're going to kill Sheriff Brady and Morgan. Killing no sheriff. And me and Tom will do it. You know, Billy, maybe we should think about that. You done lost all your senses? Going up against Dolan and Sheriff in the whole county? It's the craziest thing I ever heard. I'll do it alone. No. No, I'm gonna stick by you, Billy. Brady, he shot Morton. Well, the rest, maybe ten of them, drove me back. They was too many. The kid. What's his real name? William Bonney, age 19. Best shot in Lincoln County is what they say. Killed his first man when he... You find him. You find him and you hang him. Yes, Mr. Dolan. There's a reward for you and nothing for me. Maybe ain't worth nothing. Oh, damn it. Unfair. I wouldn't let it plague me none. Billy? What are we gonna do when we get to Fort Sumner? First thing I'm gonna do is eat and eat till I need burst. And I'm going to see my gal. It's about working. I'll do some gambling. I'm a pretty fair money dealer. And you know old Pat Garrett just bought Beaver Smith's saloon. He put gambling in there. Tom, don't move. It's a rattlesnake right behind you. Ready to strike. Don't move a hair. Don't move nothing. I'll shoot it right between your legs. Just Get a little wider, a little bit more, a little wider, a little bit more. <laughs> you were sweating. There were nothing there. There was your ass goggling out. You don't get a pink belly for doing that. There's going to be amnesty for all of us in the Lincoln County War. 
Amnesty, huh? What's that? Well, that's where they they drop all charges against you. And uh, you and me and Charlie will will homestead near Los Patales. We'll be ranchers, like Mr. Tunstall. Hey, you know, I might ask the old Pat Garrett to go in with us. He's a good rancher. Good shot. He's a good buddy. Hey, Tom. Ain't we lucky? Got us a fiesta. Hey, Don Young. Hey, Senor Billy. Bienvenido. Ah, yes, Senor Billy. You don't know they're the beavers. Hey, DC, how you been? Hey, beaver. Hey, Billy, welcome home. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, you seen old Pat Garrett? Yeah. He's in church. He ain't dead. Next thing, he's getting married. Can't let that happen. I'm gonna go save him. Et cum spiritu tu benedicat vos omnipotens Deus Pater. Filius Espiritu Sanctus. Amen. Amen. Gracias. Gracias, Pastor. Gracias. 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 So, well, come on, we got a fiesta coming up. Let's go. Be there. Be there. Well, you're gonna have a drink on me. How come you got married? Oh, she's uncommonly pretty. Yes, there she is. <laughs> but I mean married, hell. Little casino, you're still a kid. In fact, you are the kid. Me, I'm an old man. Five months, I'm gonna be 30. It's time to settle down. 30? <laughs> I'd never want to get that old. Where you going? You won't have to think about it much. Don't you lecture me, old casino. Hey, how's your bar doing? Do you know you and me are just like Gambling men. Shoot pretty good. We know the country. Hell, we are the country. Country's changing, little casino. Oh, we got ministers here. The wives are here, too. Got us a new governor. 10, 20 years. He might even be a state. Oh, no, you're dancing on my grave with them big feet of yours. How is your bar doing? Pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> then if I was to have me a real good Monty dealer, you got one. We had good times. I really think you should go. <laughs> Father's at the dance. He's drunk. He won't mind. Well, I do. That's good. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, baby. Oh. I missed you. ¿Estás contento que estoy de vuelta? Tanto tiempo que no te veo. Querido. Hey. Billy, don't go. I'm staying in Fort Sumner for good. Until you'll have to go away again. Well, that Garrett's gone married your sister. Does this mean you're going to marry me? Sure. <laughs> as soon as I grow up. That'll be never. Anyway, I'm too old for you. I'm just an old widow. Mm -hmm. Maxwell. This here is from himself, the governor. He's in Lincoln right now. He wants to see you pronto. Amnesty? What is the deal, Mr. Maxwell? Well, it's simple. You testify in front of the grand jury, and then in the open court, you convict the murderers of Tunstall. And then he's going to let you go scot-free with a pardon in your pocket for all your misdeeds. Governor was at Shiloh in the war. He's a general. Now that was the war. Before your time, Billy. Well, you take your time like it comes. Adios. Thank you, Mr. Maxwell. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. <clears throat> Greetings and salutations, Mr. Bonney. Uh, goodness incarnate. <clears throat> ah, ah, Billy is unique. A golden youth, a demigod. Golden? He just ain't got what's coming to him yet, that's for sure. <laughs> but who knows what will come to any of us. Mm. Let us marvel, not envy. Oh, shut up. I heard. Is he square, the governor? He don't like Dolan. Said that publicly. Best shot there is, huh? Mm, the world is agreed on that. He just lucky. Don't frown on luck, my friend, or she will frown on you. I drink to William Bonney's luck. Uh, good night, little casino. Not big casino. Hey, kid. Yes, sir? I'll make you a bet. Well, I like gambling. Well, what's the bet? Then I kill a man tonight before you do. Joe oh, Grant, you've been drinking too much. Why don't you go on outside and get some fresh air? What do you want to kill a man for? $25. There it is. Now you put yours up. That is, unless you're afraid. Pat there can hold the stakes. Why don't you just forget this? No. I'll bet. If it makes you happy. Now, uh, let's see what kind of gun you got. This old gun's the last thing many men ever saw, that's for sure. <laughs> I bet that's true. Woo, look at that. All covered in pearl. I love things covered in pearl. Yeah. I bet you got that in Texas. 
Mm -hmm. I also bet you got somebody picked out already. That's for sure. Yeah. Good night, Pat. Good night, Billy. Not Joe Grant. Gun, Miss Fard. Yeah. Sure was lucky. Pat, I forgot to give you wedding presents. Oh, thank you, Billy. That's for you. Does this mean I can't go down to Lincoln? No, it means you can't. Self defense, Mr. Barney. I'm the witness. I'll go with you. As long as there's a price on your head, you're gonna need eyes in the back of your head. There's a lot of Joe Grants in this country. But there's only one Billy the Kid. Who oh, look at all these people. Pat, don't you ever just want to get out and ride and ride like we used to? I know, Billy. Now I'm fitting in, like we say. Come on, kid. Give us a hand. For the glory of God. Sorry, sir. I got business to the courthouse. Glory to God. Glory of God. Everything's different now. I move with the times, little casino. Riding down the streets of Lincoln like he owned the place. And him with a price on his head. Well, after all, he's been invited here by the governor. We do have to respect our great governor, eh? At least for now, anyway. Hello, Mrs. Beasley. Good morning, Billy. See you now. Well, you uh, appear to be younger than I thought you were. Well, General, you appear to be more like a civilian than I thought you were. Sit down. I need your help. And you need mine. Well, that about says it all. See, the Lincoln County War is over now, but there's still this Mr. Dolan and his so-called Santa Fe ring. And I must bring them to justice if this territory is ever to be civilized. You follow? Why? They steal, they kill. They're outside the law. That's why. No, sir, I meant to uh, civilize this territory. Like it the way it is? I like it. So then you liked it when they murdered your friend John Tunstall? No. But I liked it when I killed Sheriff Brady, who killed him. I like things square. Says here, you are born in New York City 20 years ago. I don't recollect being born. Parents moved to Kansas City, where your father died. I don't recollect a father. And 
then your mother married a man by the name of Antrim here in the territory of Silver City. Is that right? Yes, sir. She died of the consumption when I was <clears throat> just a kid, you might say. How'd you get along? Um, uncivilized, I guess you'd say. I've uh, <clears throat> been gambling for money since I was 12 and uh, ranch in and went to war like he did for Mr. Tunstall. You see, mine was a war to preserve the Union. Well, mine was a war to preserve... Uh, what? <clears throat> well... Sir, if you killed my friend, then I have to kill you in order to preserve... everything. That was before. Now we have courts and laws. Well, we had them then too, sir, remember? I have the authority to exonerate you of all charges, provided you will give testimony here at the grand jury against Mr. Dolan on the murder of your friend John Tunstall. Gentlemen, His Excellency, the governor of New Mexico Territory, General Lou Wallace. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, General, this is Pat Garrett I was telling you about. Governor. Mr. Garrett, I understand you were a witness to what happened over at Fort Sumner. Yes, sir. Uh... Sheriff Peppin here has my affidavit. Uh, it was self-defense, Billy Jensen. That's fact. Mr. Maxwell speaks very highly of you, sir. Uh, you uh, remember the grand jury convened. Oh, over there, General. With your permission, General. Governor's one precious fool. At least he got it for Billy. To hang. So me and uh, Charlie Baudry and Tom Fowler uh, rode with him to the county line. And then he told us to go on back, which, um, that is, Mr. Tunstall. And I said, Mr. Tunstall, I think we ought to stay. Nolan's men are out for blood, and they done warned you once. Dolan's men? Now, was Mr. Dolan riding with them? Uh, no, sir. He was not. How can you be sure it was Dolan's men, then? Well, Bill Morton was their leader. You know that, Mr. Reinerson. He worked in Dolan's store. And, uh, Brady, well... Bill Morton was a deputy sheriff. Is that true or false? Well, sure it was, but that don't mean nothing. I see. Duly sworn officer of law means nothing to you? Listen, sure did. I see. Well, you have demonstrated clearly to this court that constituted authority means nothing to you, that you find law and order repugnant, and that officers are to be flouted in the course of their solemn and sacred duty. Do we understand you correctly? The grand jury just don't seem to take to you, Billy. Hey, Jed! Ah, oh, yes, sir, Governor. We're keeping a close watch on him. I see that. This way. Well, sir, I've done just like you told me. And I appreciate it. That's good. It's all this talk about me going to trial to be hung. I gave the evidence. Yes, you did. You lived up to your part of the bargain. But I can't let you go unless the prosecutor acquiesces. To what? Unless he agrees to do so. But he won't. No. Has Dolan gone and bought him? He did. And I couldn't be more appalled. Appalled? General, um... Uh... I read all about your battles and killing, but have you ever seen a man hung? I mean, you ever seen a man up close with his eyes bugging out and this thing up there? There'll be a trial. Well, they find me guilty. I'll commute the sentence. Take hanging first. Look, remember something. Maybe this thing went wrong. But you have broken the law. You have killed people. So have you, General. That was war. 
What do you think this is, you fool? I take it hard you talk to me this way. I never killed a man, but I was right. There's a law now. What about the law? What I done's only law I got, and you know it. Maybe this went wrong, but well, I... You don't invented know. going wrong, General. Ever since you took the wrong road into Shiloh, came in a day late. You know about Shiloh. Oh, yeah, I know all about you in the Civil War. You're a liar. That's what you are. You lied to me. You lied to me, General. That's what you are. Why don't you just say it? You lied to me, Governor. You lied! You're a liar! You're a liar! You ain't even a general! You're a liar, Governor! Say it! You're a liar! In the home! You're a liar, Governor! You're a liar! Liar! Mr. Ollinger? The Governor orders you to remove Mr. Bonney to house arrest between now and the trial. No prison? Just handcuffs. He's dangerous, Lieutenant. Yeah, well, the governor figures you're a match for him. Tag Garrett, you see the governor? A friend of Pete Maxwell's? Oh, sure. Have him come in. Yes, sir. Mr. Garrett? Mr. Garrett, nice to see you again, sir. Governor. You just came from Fort Sumner? No, no, from Lincoln. Please, sit down. Thank you. Tell me, how's the boys' trial going? Well, it uh, hasn't started yet, but um, they mean to hang him. Oh, they're not going to hang him, not while I'm governor. Is that right? That's right. Now tell me, sir, what's on your mind? I mean, a fella comes to see the governor, usually has something on his mind. What's on your mind? Since you removed Pepin from office, there's been no sheriff in Lincoln County. I want the job. Oh, you do? Well, ordinarily I'd ask you for a man's qualifications, but down there I'm just going to ask you why. I'm a good shot. Uh, I'm married now and settled down. Got some land near Roswell. Here's a letter. Oh, this letter's from Mr. Maxwell. Thinks the world of you, you know. He's uh, backing me in the election for sheriff come November, but uh, between now and then, if he was to... If I was to make an interim appointment, you mean? Yes, sir. Governor, can I see you a minute alone? Mr. Garrett, will you excuse me? I, I'm going to need some time to think about this. All right, sir. I'll be here in Santa Fe till tomorrow. All right. What is it, Mr. Polk? Looks like Billy got away. How? Oh. This morning before trial, he broke loose. A little hands, thick wrist, you know. Slipped his hands through the cuffs and sailed on out the window. <laughs> Hell, he did. Well, you know, maybe it's a good thing after all. Now he'll sure leave the territory. I like that boy, you know, even though he did call me some awful hard names. Well, suppose he don't leave the territory. Mr. Poe, maybe you can catch Mr. Garrett out there and have him come back in here just for a minute. Yes, sir. something on my mind. I think we should have stayed back in the country a while longer. Come on, Billy. You see sells up any of them dusty old royals? No. But there are a lot of fools in this world. Supposing some gravy brain gets a fool idea turning you in for that reward money. Nobody here does thing like that. They even got a sheriff down to Lincoln. Hey, Valdez! Híjole! Hola, joven! Are you? I heard you were down in old Mexico. I was? We've been reading about you. How you been? Todo bien. Y tú? Hey, Tom. Why don't you get the boys together and uh, tell them to meet around midnight and tell them what's on your mind. Yeah. Yeah. 
No. Get so sore riding and riding. Come near 50 miles a day. You gonna stay here long, Billy? How is uh, Telsa? She'll be glad to see you. Billy, you know that you... <laughs> Can I come calling tonight? Si, como no. She is a respectable widow now, my poor daughter. You know my son-in-law, Pat Gotti. <laughs> Gosh, it feels good to be home. Oh, there. Father, I'll see you tonight. Okay? Nos vemos. Nos vemos. I like this one best, Sheriff, with the Venetian lotion in the back. I know Miss Garrett's going to want two dozen copies, I promise you, right now. I'll take these. Hey, now, for the election, you're going to need something more dignified for the posters. Uh, hey. I like this one with the Roman column. Hey there, Big Sino. Hey. How you been? Ain't you dressed to beat the band? <laughs> Old Valdez come through with a dowry. Well, I got me a steak. Ranching up near Rossville Way. Hey, for the campaign, Mr. Garrett? Yeah, I'll take him. Uh, come on, I want to talk to you. Uh, perhaps a young man might want his picture took. Uh, something to send a mother. Uh, a nice little man will show her boys thinking of her. No, sir, she's dead. Oh, uh, you know, I might have my picture took. Certain senorita, I never had one done before. It will stand right over here, son. Um, now, you have your choice of background. So we, we've got uh, Snow in the Rockies, the Doge's Palace in Venice, or, uh, uh, by the way, Mascara likes that one. Or, uh, after the smoke of battle. Take that one. Well, that's very realistic. Fine artwork. All right. Hold, keep a hold of that. Well, as you please, my boy, as you please. All right, now hold still. Smile. Yeah, this is going to be a good one, I can tell. Uh, the, the gun is very striking. Is that it? Yeah. Hey, you're looking good there, Pat. Uh, that'll be a dollar for... Uh, Two copies, 25 cents per additional copies, up to 10. After which, there's a special price per dozen of uh, 25 cents. Sure. That's a special. Uh, now, one minute, son. Uh, what's the name and address? My name is William H. Bonney. My address is uh, New Mexico Territory. All of it. <laughs> that covers a lot of ground, huh? William H. Bonney. B O N. Billy the Kid? Governor Wallace uh, appointed me till the next election. Then I run for the office. What I run for? Oh, Mexico. I don't want nothing ever to happen to you. Telling you all along, I'm gonna settle down just like everybody else. Never took you serious. I reckon not. Well, what do we do now? You leave this territory. If I don't, I'll arrest you. Pat, I thought we was friends. I'm sure. Well, what ever done so for bad? Killed Martin. Brady. No, Pat, they killed Mr. Tunstall. I done the right thing there. You still cattle thieving? Well, nobody begrudges me a little poaching, just like you in the old days. And there's what the papers say. Really, the kid done this. Really, the kid done that. I mean, like they're making you out to be some kind of hero for the things you've done. And that's what's a bother to you. There ain't no place for a wild boy like you in this territory. Now, Governor Wallace Ooh, wants a peaceful Oh, now country. you and the governor. Wallace and Garrett sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. They tried to help you. I won't take that, Pat. That's out and out insult. You stand by them words. Well. Here we are. 
Oh, what are you gonna do? You gonna arrest me? You gonna try? Now ain't the time. But I tell you, people are getting real tired of your wild ways. <laughs> I tell you what, Pat. I got more friends around here than you. You. You're just rolling through town. You're just blowing through. Me, I'm permanent. Like the cactus. I'll give you till morning. I'll find you in Fort Sumner tomorrow. I'll arrest you. Well, you got more lives than a cat. You hear about your buddy, Pat Garrett? Just now left him. You been with Pat? He didn't try nothing? No. He did say he's gonna arrest me tomorrow. If I was still here. That's, right. That's what he's been telling everybody around here. He's gonna bring the kid to justice. That's the way he puts it. I'm gonna bring the kid to justice. <laughs> I'm telling the whole town. The whole county probably knows. I'm gonna bring you to justice. I think Pat's gone local. I truly do. <laughs> we ain't staying here, are we? How many boys we got? Three. We can count on them. Uh, it's Bob Duff and the Mulligan brothers. Got them together. Bring them around here at midnight. All packed up. Tell them we're going into business. You'd be mighty happy to hear that, Billy boy. It's been kind of lazy around here without you. Hasta el fin del mundo! Ah, see? Billy boy, you riding high. <laughs> Just riding? Hey, this is free country, ain't it? Hey, got near 100 in here. Go have his good old Christmas, eh, boy? Good old Mexico. Hey. Nothing can be done about one 20-year-old kid and a half a dozen hooligans that are making us look like fools in the eyes of the whole damned country. All the folks around Fort Sumner protect them, you know that. These Mexicans, books. that is. Have you seen these books? The Invincible Kid. Billy the Kid in the Widow's Gold Mine, and Billy the Kid rides again. And Billy the Kid, the Bandit King. Don't they know he is the bandit? Do you know these books sell by the millions? Now, they don't sell more than your new books, or my, uh, my Mr. wife. Mr. Poe, this is not authorial envy. It's outrage. Can you imagine being the governor of a territory known only for Billy the Kid, Puerta de Luna, Agua Negro, cattle rustling, a bank robbery in Roswell for crying out loud, Mr. Poe? Now, a lot of these crimes, nobody knows if it's him or not. Doesn't matter, Mr. Poe. The press thinks it is, and that's all that matters. And Mr. Garrett, what are you doing about it, sir? Getting closer and closer all the time. Oh. Oh, you are. Well, you've had almost a year, Mr. Garrett. 
By your line of reason, I guess it's fair for me to assume that you're now right on top of them. Is that right? Oh, I am. Then, Mr. Garrett, when do you bring him in? Well, Pat. Well, you sure come to town unexpected, huh? It's my intention. It's due here soon, eh? Now, who's that? Yesterday, Billy was seen west of Stinkin' Springs with a wagon of beef. Oh, come on now, Pat. You know I don't buy from him. He'll be coming in on the Texas road. We'll be waiting at the old Indian hospital. I don't want nobody getting word to him. You read me? How long are we going to stay in Fort Sumner, Billy? Long enough to do some dancing and gambling. And if old Pat's around, maybe we can cook up a shooting contest. She's been giving Pat the devil's own time. Old Pat running there, old Pat running here. Hey, there's the old hospital. We almost home. Some men coming down the road. Can't tell where they are. About six of them with the wagon. It's him. Now hold your fire till I give the word. Shoot me, Pat, please. If you just have a friend, shoot me. You just take your medicine, boy. Shut up, Bo. Best I ever talk. Shoot me, Pat, please. It hurts. Where's Billy hiding, Tom? Back at the spring. I'm really dying, Pat. Yeah. Where at the springs? <laughs> Then we better catch up with the others, huh? What springs are you talking about? Stinking springs. I think I know exactly where he's hid. Hold on, Billy. We done shook him by now. I might have to freeze to death. I tell you what, I mean, Horses weren't wore out. I had not move on to Portales. They all wore out. So are we. Let's go down that cabin and get something to eat. Make a false trail here. Charlie, you take boys till you come up that bend in that rock and follow down the riverbed till you get to the shed. Um, put them three horses in the shed and uh, you and me will take ours inside. Come on, boys. As far. Why don't you just get up on the roof and yell, hey, Pat, here we are, till he trots up and shoots you like a turkey? If we don't have no fire, Pat ain't gonna have to find us because we're gonna be froze solid as this wood. I'm sorry, Billy, but I ain't freezing to death. All right, just burn the oak, don't burn no pine. You are the limit, Billy. Oh, 
works sure a lot better. I don't like it. I don't like it. What's that? Hat knowing us coming. Sitting there waiting for us. Oh. How'd he know when nobody knew? Well, we done throwed him off the scent. Hey, throw me some of that beef. Think they got Tom? Oh, Tom. Miss him, I'll say. Cannot leave these muddy waters. Anyway. That's where they are. Trail keeps on down the creek that way, Pat. Spread out along the trail. Won't you come on in here, Pat? Well, you come on out and be sociable. Sure would hate it if you take cold out there. It's healthful. They got us for sure, Billy boy. Nothing's for sure. You might as well throw them that pine. Sheriff. Yeah. This Billy ain't the only one that's got some luck. Hold your fire. Let's wait him out. something or other. I got to know when the moon comes up. Well, hold on, I'll figure it out. 15th was a Monday. So last Monday was the 22nd. Boys, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas Day. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> the moon is a full moon waxing. Oh, that does it. That just does it. When I was a kid, I always had this big dinner come Christmas Day. I was on this uh, farm where we lived, nine of us kids. Before we moved west for the war. Hey, boy, get away from that window. Damn, Billy. Oh, and there she comes. Blessed moonlight is day. So every Christmas is back in Carolina. We'd all go. Oh! I told you and told you now. Look, now you done got yourself killed. Help me, Billy. Billy, help me. Help me. Ain't no use, Charlie. You just lie there and be quiet. Oh, God, Billy. Let me stand up. I'll be all right standing up. Everybody dies, stand up. Oh, God, Billy. Help me. Okay, Charlie. Please. Charlie. Now you can get me. Ah! You're still standing. Charlie, you done murdered you. Now you can get back at him. You're still breathing. And you still got your gun. Hey, okay, now. You go kill some of them before you die. Okay, Charlie? All right. What do you mean, boys? Now 
Which one was that? Charlie Baudry. Must be strange. Killing your old friends. Pat, you just show your head just once! Don't make me set you on fire. We hold up proper, Billy. Billy, what are we gonna do? Surrender, that's what. Surrender? At least it's warm in jail. Oh, no, nice and slow. No one will get hurt. <laughs> okay, Pat. We're coming out. We're coming out. Don't nobody get too frisky. Casino? Uh, hey there, little casino. Glad you could join us. How you been? Pretty good. Except when you was bothering me. Well, how you like your new job? I like it better all the time. Yeah, well, this time you had my luck. Old moon rose too soon on me. No. Hey, one good thing. At least we'll be seeing a lot of each other. For a while, I guess. Then what? We're gonna hang you, Billy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that just... That just don't sound right. Nobody's hanging me. Never. sentence him this morning. Well, I have one happy daughter now, Mrs. Pat Garrett, and then I have you. I guess you ain't hearing nothing from the governor, Billy. Ever again. So you'll hang next week. No slipping them little hands through the cuffs again. Yeah, we'll all be there, you can bet. Hangman's a buddy of mine. Likes to do it slow. Lay off him, Bob. I'll bet the top. Went again. I don't see how you could sit there playing a card with him. Bill, you take me around back. Sure, come on.
You want to play some more cards? Sure, why not? Why don't you undo these first? Come on. You're crazy, Billy. See how I could have done this. Where'd he get the gun? When he get the chains off his legs, and he ends up killing two guards, my lord. Damn fools. There was good men, Pat. Fools, they let him go. Well, I reckon he's down in old Mexico by now. He's down in hell. Let's still go down and drag him out. Not see anyone follow me. Salsa missed you. Very bad, my amor. It's not safe. I'm gonna suck it out of my own. So this is where you were. Right here. All these weeks. Just a mile from Fort Sumner. By this river. Aren't you afraid? What? Well, Pat Garrett is come back to town. Poor Pat. One day he will find you. Vete lejos, bien lejos, mi amor. You the her esto? No. I ain't leaving here. That's where I live. And die. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. Qué extraña tú eres. You know what the Indians say about you? You are one of the old gods come back again. I never went away. Been right here all this time. I don't want you to ever leave me, ever. All right. I won't. Liar. I'll haunt you to the end of your days. No digas eso. Hey, we ought to go see your father, tell him thank you for putting that gun in the privy. It was my idea. <laughs> Gracias. I've ridden one end of the territory to the other. Sometimes I get the scent, but there's always a story made up to oh. send me in the wrong direction. Oh, no, no, Pat. It's true what he's saying. Mexicans know where he is, but they protect him. Well, you know, I reckon he's in old Mexico by now. No. He's around. I can feel it. 
Any minute I expect to see him coming in the saloon where we used to play cards. <laughs> where is he, Maxwell? I don't know, Pat. Honest, I do not know. Dios. Billy. I come to make a visit. Pat Garrett's in town. He's looking for you. Yo lo sé. Pa, I want Billy to stay with us tonight. Aquí? Si. No. I thought we was friends. Billy, for your own sake, go. Leave Fort Sumner. Leave the territory. Because Pat Garrett's in town? No, because this is no place for you anymore. Uh -huh. We can tell him the truth, can't we? We saved him from hanging. People here change. You don't. We want new things. Order. Safety. But do no, you don't. So please, William Bunny, leave us. Todos sus amigos están muertos. Hear me. All of your pistolero friends are dead. And now God waits to strike you down. Pleasure of your company. <clears throat> and might I drink a toast to your health? <laughs> yes. Your continued health. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, that was good, sir. <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> Most bracing. <clears throat> well, Mr. Bonney, you are alone at last. The others, one by one, have all fallen away. Tunstall, Tom O'Follier, Charlie Baudry. Only you are left. Mm. Must mean Pat. <laughs> you and your pursuer, the loving huntsman, the smiling nemesis. Was that? Mm. It's my uh, Baroque manner. <laughs> all I have, sir, are my words. Words are all I can repay you with. For giving you whiskey. For giving you tragedy. Stop it, old man. You stop that crazy talk. Oh, just think. At this moment, the children on the streets of a thousand cities play at being you while he, you sit, Billy the Kid himself, alone. Oh, where is your nimbus, your sign of glory? They say I had my day. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> But what a day! <laughs> Might I trouble you for more, sir? <clears throat> uh, 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 I tell you, <clears throat> when I drink, I feel I could do anything, be anything, even you. I think so much. Not so much. To be a name on the lips of men is anything so sweet, so brief. I will not leave this country, ever. I ain't leaving. I suppose you know that Pat Garrett is in town. He's sworn he'll take you. In fact, he's offering a reward for inf information concerning you. A fat inducement. I wonder how you dare trust even me. Just think of it, I could betray you. I love money. Let him come if he dares. He will come, he will dare. And you are the golden boy marked for slaughter. 
I'm the best shot there is. And I got friends. Billy. I got lots of friends. Billy, did you ever kill anyone you loved? Huh? I killed people who needed killing. You never tumbled to God from his temple betrayal with a kiss. Old man, you talk too much. Old man. Uh-huh. You pity me, do you? I don't feel nothing about you. <sighs> you are marble. You don't love, you don't hate. You are your legend. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, Mr. Bonnie, I am not old. I am not an object of pity. Yeah, I have chosen to live as I do, to dream as I do. And I can be cruel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, rem remember that, my dark angel. Remember that when you fall. <laughs> Welcome to the old homestead, Pat. In town long? No. Oh, leave him tonight. Couple shots, if you would. You seen Billy? Billy who? That's the way it is. about going tonight? I don't know. You giving up is what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, if I could. Good evening, Mr. Garrett. Mr. Poe. I know where he is. First, the money. Where is he? It is a brave thing I do, don't you agree? Especially here, where he's so loved. Tell me. You admit I am brave. Yes, very brave. Good. Good. Well, I don't. There's good tears. There's a big reward out for him. You know what I'm saying? There's a big money reward. Oh. Well, I guess you must be eager to collect it. Miss Elsa, I know you love him. We all do. I knew little Casino long before I ever knew your sister or you. He's like a part of me. I want you to give him up to me. It's my duty to take him in. It's your duty or it's your pleasure. Go on, Patch. You ain't gonna tell nothing. Let's get started for Lincoln. I never wanted to hunt him down. I swear that. But you think killing him will bring you glory? Well, it won't. He will trick you. Bad. 
He is alive. Your death. We're gonna stay tonight, Ben. We stay. Got a hunch the kid will be out tonight. Well, that's what we figured out tonight. You know, Pat, sometimes I wonder if he's real or if we haven't thought him up just to plague ourselves or something. He's real. He plagues me. That yurt's left town. Even so, the people, they want their reward. I ain't scared of people. Where's your father? He's working. Billy, are you bad? For wrestling cattle? For killing people. Well, that's just the way it was. I mean, I never robbed a bank like Jesse James. No, he's a real bad hat. <laughs> he's bad to kill. Well, don't sell so don't. Está mal que la gente malvada viva. What's this now? Billy the Kid and the Widow's gold mine. Gold mine? <laughs> it's just a story about how you save a gold mine for a poor widow. People do tend to rely heavily on the imagination. How's it end? We live happily ever after. I like that kind of story. I'm tired. What are you waiting for? Why do you stay here? I'm just waiting. Is it because of me? No, it is. I think you are waiting for Pat Garrett. I think that is why you stay. You was on the road to Lincoln. Well, we're going to stay over a few hours. Of course, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, you go on downstairs and stand guard. Uh, I'm going to sleep for a bit, then we'll start searching the town. Yeah. I want you to stay real close by me tonight. You ain't very trusted in these days, Pat. Billy's been warned before. This time, no one knows where we are. Good night. Good night. back to Lincoln? I think so, yes. I'm hungry. Mm. I have some frijoles. I could make you some tortilla. I've been dreaming of a steak. Pink Maxwell got any beef steak over to his place? See, si, a whole side of beef. Hung last week. I'm gonna go cut me a piece. You met Papa? No. I don't want to be in no trouble.
Yes. Shot through the heart. Shot dead. I knew it was him. I heard his voice come out of the darkness. When I heard that voice, I fired. You've done it, Pat. I can't believe you've done it. You had Drew Billy the kid. In the dark, Billy had no chance. Is that right? So what do you say about that, Pat? Say? I say I killed Billy the kid. There's nothing more.
turn in your guns. Hey, Olinger. See you now. Well, you uh, appear to be younger than I thought you were. Well, General, you appear to be more like a civilian than I thought you were. Sit down, please. I need your help. And you need mine. Well, that about says it all. See, the Lincoln County War is over now, but there's still this Mr. Dolan and his so-called Santa Fe ring. And I must bring them to justice if this territory is ever to be civilized. You follow? Why? They steal, they kill. They're outside the law, that's why. No, sir, I meant to uh, civilize this territory. Like it the way it is? I like it. So then you liked it when they murdered your friend John Tunstall? No. But I liked it when I killed Sheriff Brady, who killed him. I like things square. Says here, you are born in New York City 20 years ago. I don't recollect being born. Parents moved to Kansas City, where your father died. I don't recollect a father. And then your mother married a man by the name of Antrim here in the territory of Silver City. Is that right? Yes, sir. She died of the consumption when I was <clears throat> just a kid, you might say. How'd you get along? Um, uncivilized, I guess you'd say. I've uh, <clears throat> been gambling for money since I was 12, and... Uh, Ranch in and went to war like he did for Mr. Tunstall. <laughs> you see, mine was a war to preserve the Union. Well, mine was a war to preserve. Uh... What? <clears throat> well, sir, if you kill my friend, then I have to kill you in order to preserve everything. That was before. Now we have courts. <clears throat> Good night. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> Silencio. Está durmiendo. No, he's awake. Edgar, you go back to Lincoln? I think so, yes. I could make you some tortilla. I've been dreaming of a steak. Pete Maxwell got any beef steak over to his place? See, a whole side of beef. Hung last week. I'm gonna go cut me a piece. You met Papa? No. I don't want to be in no trouble.
Pete. Pete. Can this? territory to the other and sometimes I get the scent that there's always a story made up to oh. send me in the wrong direction. Oh no no Pat. True what he's saying. Mexicans know where he is but they protect him. Well you know I reckon he's in old Mexico by now. No. Oh. He's around I can feel it. Any minute, I expect to see him coming in the saloon where we used to play cards. <laughs> where is he, Maxwell? I don't know, Pat. Honest, I do not know. Billy. I come to make a visit. Pat Garrett's in town. He's looking for you. You will say. Pa, I want Billy to stay with us tonight. A key? Stay. No. I thought we was friends. Billy, for your own sake. Go. Leave Fort Sumner. Leave the territory. Because Pat Garrett's in town? No, because this is no place for you anymore. Uh -huh. We can tell him the truth, can't we? We saved them from hanging. People here change. You don't. We want new things. Order. Safety. But do no, you don't. So please, William Barney, leave us. Todos sus amigos están muertos. Hear me. All of your pistolero friends are dead. And now God waits to strike you down. See? Might I have the pleasure of your company? <clears throat> and might I drink a toast to any of us? <clears throat> Let us marvel, not envy. Oh, shut up. I heard. Is he square, the governor? He don't like Dolan. Said that publicly. Best shot there is, huh? Mm, the world is agreed on that. He just lucky. Don't frown on luck, my friend, or she will frown on you. I drink to William Bonnie's luck. Uh, good night, little casino. Not the casino. Hey, kid. Yes, sir? I'll make you a bet. Well, I like gambling. Well, what's the bet? Then I kill a man tonight before you do. Joe oh, Grant, you've been drinking too much. Why don't you go on outside and get some fresh air? What do you want to kill a man for? Twenty-five dollars. There it is. Now you put yours up. That is, 
Unless you're afraid Pat there can hold the stakes. Why don't you just forget this? No. I'll bet. If it makes you happy. Now, uh, let's see what kind of gun you got. This old gun's the last thing me and men ever saw, that's for sure. <laughs> I bet that's true. Woo, look at that. All covered in pearl. I love things covered in pearl. Yeah. I bet you got that in Texas. Mm-hmm. I also bet you got somebody picked out already. That's for sure. Yeah. Good night, Pat. Good night, Joey. Not Joe Grant. Gun, Miss Fired. Yeah. Sure was lucky. Pat, I forgot to give you wedding presents. Oh, thank you, Billy. That's for you. Does this mean I can't go down to Lincoln? No, it means you can't. Self defense, Mr. Barney. I'm the witness. I'll go with you. Back and me in the election for sheriff come November, but uh, between now and then, if you was to. If I was to make an interim appointment, you mean? Yes, sir. Governor, can I see you a minute alone? Mr. Garrett, will you excuse me? I, I'm going to need some time to think about this. All right, sir. I'll be here in Santa Fe till tomorrow. All right. What is it, Mr. Polk? Looks like Billy got away. How? Oh. This morning before trial, he broke loose. Little hands, thick wrists, you know. Slipped his hands through the cuffs and sailed on out the window. <laughs> Hell, he did. Well, you know, maybe it's a good thing after all. Now he'll sure leave the territory. I like that boy, you know. Even though he did call me some awful hard names. Well, suppose he don't leave the territory. Mr. Poe, maybe you can catch Mr. Garrett out there and have him come back in here just for a minute. Yes, sir. Billy, I, I've got something on my mind. I think we should have stayed back in the country a while longer. Come on, Billy. You see sells up any of them dusty old royals? No. But there are a lot of fools in this world. Supposing some gravy brain gets a fool idea turning you in for that reward money. Nobody here does this thing like that. They even got a sheriff down to Lincoln. Hey, Valdez! Híjole! Hola, joven! How are you? I heard you were down in old Mexico. I was? We've been reading about you. How you been? Todo bien. Y tú? Hey, Tom. Why don't you get the boys together and uh, tell them to meet around midnight and tell them what's on your mind. Ew! Uh, yeah! No. Oh, get so sore riding and riding. Come near 50 mile today. You gonna stay here long, Billy? How is uh, Telsa? She'll be glad to see you. Billy, you know that... We... <laughs> Can I come call him tonight? Si, sí, como no. She is a respectable widow now, my poor daughter. You know my son-in-law, Pat Gotti. <laughs> Gosh, it feels good to be home over there. Father, I'll see you tonight, okay? Nos vemos. Nos vemos. <laughs> Bunny, Governor Wallace will see you now. Well, you uh, appear to be younger.
stronger than I thought you were. Well, General, you appear to be more like a civilian than I thought you were. Sit down, please. I need your help. And you need mine. Well, that about says it all. See, the Lincoln County War is over now, but there's still this Mr. Dolan and his so-called Santa Fe ring. And I must bring them to justice if this territory is ever to be civilized. You follow? Why? They steal, they kill. They're outside the law. That's why. No, sir, I meant to well, civilize this territory. You like it the way it is? I like it. So then you liked it when they murdered your friend John Tunstall? No. But I liked it when I killed Sheriff Brady, who killed him. I like things square. Says here, you are born in New York City 20 years ago. I don't recollect being born. And your parents moved to Kansas City, where your father died. I don't recollect a father. And then your mother married a man by the name of Antrim here in the territory of Silver City. Is that right? Yes, sir. She died of the consumption when I was... Just a kid, you might say. How'd you get along? Um, uncivilized, I guess you'd say. I've uh, <clears throat> been gambling for money since I was 12 and uh, ranch in and went to war like he did for Mr. Tunstall. <laughs> you see, mine was a war to preserve the Union. Well, mine was a war to preserve... Uh, what? <clears throat> well... Sir, if you kill my friend, then I have to kill you in order to preserve everything. That was before. Now we have courts and laws. Well, we had them then too, sir, remember. I have the authority to exonerate you of all charges, provided you will give testimony here at the grand jury against Mr. Dolan on the murder of your friend John Tunstall. Gentlemen, His Excellency, the Governor of New Mexico Territory, General Lou Wallace. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, General, this is Pat Garrett. Up. It's the last one, Billy. We got trouble, boys. Sheriff Brady and a posse are coming in from Lincoln. Let's go! Where's Mr. Tunstall? He's okay. For now. Looks like Dolan's fixing to steal his ranch. Come on, boys! <laughs> i 
Russell. <clears throat> what does he want from the sheriff? Dolan and the sheriff have just taken over my store in Lincoln. And now they want the ranch, too. Mr. Reinison here says that even by the highly flexible standards of the territory of New Mexico, in the year of our grace, 1879, this is... What was the word you used? Most irregular. But then we really don't have no proper governor. Dolan runs Lincoln County. Dolan tells Brady what to do, always has. And that's just about... Cook up a shooting contest. She's been giving Pat the devil's own time. Old Pat running there, old Pat running here. Hey, there's the old hospital. We almost home. Some men coming down the road. Can't tell where they are. About six of them with the wagon. It's him. Now hold your fire till I give the word. Shoot me, Pat, please. If you have a friend, shoot me. You just take your medicine, boy. Shut up, Bo. Best I ever talk. Shoot me, Pat, please. It hurts. Where's Billy hiding, Tom? Back at the spring. I'm really dying, Pat. Yeah. Where at the springs? We better catch up with the others, huh? What springs are you talking about? Stinking springs. I think I know exactly where he's hid. Hold on, Billy. We done shook him by now. I'm about to freeze to death. I tell you what, I mean, Horses weren't wore out. I'd move on to Portales. They all wore out. So are we. Let's go down that cabin and get something to eat. Make a false trail here. Charlie, you take boys till you come up that bend in that rock and follow down the riverbed till you get to the shed. Um, put them three horses in the shed and uh, you and me will take ours inside. Come on, boys. Valdez, Orvin, and her sister, Salsa. So, oh, come on, we got a fiesta coming up. Let's go. Be there for the bed. Well, you're gonna have a drink on me. How come you got married? Oh, well, she's uncommonly pretty. Yes, there she is. <laughs> but I mean married, hell. Little casino, you're still a kid. In fact, you are the kid. Me, I'm an old man. Five months, I'm gonna be 30. <laughs> Time to settle down. 30? <laughs> I'd never want to get that old. Where you going? You won't have to think about it much. Don't you lecture me, old casino. Hey, how's your bar doing? 
You know you and me are just like gambling men. Shoot pretty good. We know the country. Hell, we are the country. Country's changing, little casino. You know, we got ministers here. The wives are here, too. Got us a new governor. Ten, twenty years. You might even be in state. Oh, no, you're dancing on my grave with them big feet of yours. How is your bar doing? Pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> then if I was to have me a real good Monty dealer. You got one. We had good times. I really think you should go. <laughs> I bet that's true. Woo, look at that. All covered in pearl. I love things covered in pearl. Yeah. I bet you got that in Texas. Also bet you got somebody picked out already. That's for sure. Yeah. Good night, Pat. Good night, Joey. Not Joe Grant. Gun, Miss Fard. Yeah. Sure was lucky. Pat, I forgot to give you a wedding present. Oh, thank you, Billy. That's for you. Does this mean I can't go down to Lincoln? No, it means you can't. Self defense, Mr. Barney. I'm the witness. I'll go with you. As long as there's a price on your head, you're gonna need eyes in the back of your head. There's a lot of Joe Grants in this country. But there's only one Billy the Kid. Who are those people? Pat, don't you ever just want to get up and ride and ride like we used to? I know, Billy. Now I'm fitting in, like we say. Come on, kid. Give us a hand. For the glory of God. Sorry, sir. I got business to the courthouse. Glory to God. Glory to God. Everything's different now. Let's move with the times, little casino. Riding down the streets of Lincoln like he owned the place. And him with a price on his head. Well, after all, he's been invited here by the governor. We do have to respect our great governor, eh? At least for now, anyway. Hello, Mrs. Beasley. Good morning, Billy. Miss Fard. Yeah. 
Sure was lucky. Pat, I forgot to give you a wedding present. Oh, thank you, Billy. That's for you. Does it mean I can't go down to Lincoln? No, it means you can't. Self-defense, Mr. Barney. I'm the witness. I'll go with you. As long as there's a price on your head, you're gonna need eyes in the back of your head. There's a lot of Joe Grants in this country. But there's only one Billy the Kid. Those people. Pat, don't you ever just want to get up and ride, ride like we used to? I know, Billy. Now I'm fitting in, like we say. Come on, kid. Give us a hand. For the glory of God. Sorry, sir. I got business to the courthouse. Glory to God. Glory to God. Everything's different now. I move with the times, little casino. Look at that. Riding down the streets of Lincoln like he owned the place. And him with a price on his head. Well, after all, he's been invited here by the governor. We do have to respect our great governor, eh? For now, anyway. Hello, Mrs. Beasley. Good morning, Billy. Hey! You gonna turn in your guns? Hey, Ollinger. See you now. The sheriff has plans for you. Come on, Billy. Then it. You are a witness, you see. Brady knows that you. How shall I describe you? An angel in disguise. Observed him shoot in cold blood an unarmed man and friend of our sovereign president Hayes. You are a witness to murder. And in the midst of life, we are in death. Mm -hmm. Of whom may we seek for succor? <laughs> you are angelic. I want to know five things. Yeah. Only five. Mm -hmm. About Brady. One, where she live? Two, which route you take in the morning? I cannot leave these muddy waters. I wait, you rolling river. Like this, you're stuck in them muddy waters, Tom, old boy. Mm -hmm. Really? Tomorrow morning, we're going to kill Sheriff Brady and Morgan. Killing no sheriff. Then me and Tom will do it. No, Billy, maybe we should think about that. You done lost all your senses? Going up against Dolan and Sheriff in the whole county? It's the craziest thing I ever heard. I'll do it alone. No. No, I'm gonna stick by you, Billy. Wow, boy, what do you like? 
Seen a man up close with his eyes bugging out and this thing up there? There'll be a trial. Well, they find me guilty. I'll commute the sentence. Take hanging first. Look, remember something. Maybe this thing went wrong. But you have broken the law. You have killed people. Well, so have you, General. That was war. What do you think this is, you fool? I take it hard you talk to me this way. I never killed a man, but I was right. There's a law now. What about the law? What I done's only law we got, and you know it. Maybe this went wrong, but I... You invented know. going wrong, General. Ever since you took the wrong road into Shiloh and came in a day late. You know about Shiloh. Oh, yeah, I know all about you in the Civil War. You're a liar. That's what you are. You lied to me. You lied to me, General. That's what you are. Why don't you just say it? You lied to me, Governor. You lied! You're a liar! You're a liar! You ain't even a general! You're a liar, Governor! Say it! You're a liar! In You're a liar, Governor! You're a liar! Liar! Mr. Ollinger? The Governor orders you to remove Mr. Bonney to house arrest between now and the trial. No prison? Just handcuffs. He's dangerous, Lieutenant. Yeah, well, the governor figures you're a match for him. Tag Garrett, you see, Governor? A friend of Pete Maxwell's? Oh, sure. Have him come in. Yes, sir. Mr. Garrett? Mr. Garrett, nice to see you again, sir. Governor. You just came from Fort Sumner? No, no, from Lincoln. Please, sit down. Thank you. Tell me, how's the boy's trial going? Well, it uh, hasn't started yet, but um, they mean to hang him. Oh, they're not going to hang him, not while I'm governor. Is that right? That's right. Now tell me, sir, what's on your mind? I mean, a fella comes to see the governor, usually has something on his mind. What's on your mind? Since you removed Pepin from office, there's been no sheriff in Lincoln County. I want the job. Oh, you do? Well, ordinarily I'd ask you for a man's qualifications, but down there I'm just going to ask you why. I'm a good shot. Uh, I'm married now and settled down. Got some land near Roswell. Here's a letter. It was Morton, the sheriff. Is he dead? that is born of woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. He fleeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Then knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. You are the next of kin. <coughs> First cousin, uh, once removed, actually. Under mighty God, we commend the soul of our brother departed. We 
than it is to the earth. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> Hey, Billy, you want to play? Next time, when I need your money, get us a room. A nice room with a big bath and a bed for three. Maybe four. Yes, sir. Number six. Ah, Mr. Bonney, <clears throat> might I offer you a libation of a funerary nature to that blessed gentleman, my cousin, Mr. Tonsville? Don't drink. Too young, you darn fool. Don't even shave. Ah, another time, perhaps. Hi, boy. Ah, ha, ha, such subtle manners. No wonder you were Mr. Uh, Tonsville's uh, favorite. Well, the sheriff has plans for you. Come on, Billy. Then it. Do you know these books sell by the millions? Now they don't sell more than your new books, or my uh, my Mr. wife. Mr. Poe, this is not authorial envy. It's outrage. Can you imagine being the governor of a territory known only for Billy the Kid, Puerta de Luna, Agua Negro? Cattle rustling, a bank robbery in Roswell, for crying out loud, Mr. Poe. Well, a lot of these crimes, nobody knows if it's him or not. Doesn't matter, Mr. Poe. The press thinks it is, and that's all that matters. And, Mr. Garrett, what are you doing about it, sir? I'm getting closer and closer all the time. Oh. Oh, you are. Well, you've had almost a year, Mr. Garrett. By your line of reason, I guess it's fair for me to assume that you're now right on top of them. Is that right? Oh, I am. Then, Mr. Garrett, when do you bring him in? Well, Pat, well, you sure come to town unexpected, huh? It's my intention. It's due here soon, eh? Now, who's that? Yesterday, Billy was seen west of Stinkin' Springs with a wagon of beef. Oh, come on now, Pat. You know I don't buy from him. He'll be coming in on the Texas road. We'll be waiting at the old Indian hospital. Uh, I don't want nobody getting word to him. You read me? How long are we going to stay in Fort Sumner, Billy? Long enough to do some dancing and gambling. And if old Pat's around, maybe we can cook up a shooting contest. She's been giving Pat the devil's own time. Old Pat running there, old Pat running here. Hey, there's the old hospital. We almost home. Some men coming down the road. Can't tell where they are. About six of them with the wagon. It's him. Now hold your fire till I give the word. Especially on the Santa Fe Road. Mr. Tunstall, sir, Sheriff Brady don't believe in loss of any kind any more than his boss Dolan does. Not just look how they got hold of your store and now your ranch. Now, nah, Billy, go on back. <sighs> Mr. Tunstall, take this. How can I take this? This is my present to you. Mr. Tunstall, you give me everything I own. I don't want nothing to happen to you. 
Billy, go on back. Come on, Billy, let's head for Lincoln. Old Charlie here's just dying to take a room in a hotel. Charlie ain't never slept in a hotel. Lie through your teeth, boy. I wanted for to get me a woman. And take a bath. Shoot, I ain't had a bath all winter. It's been so cold. Well, bathing's bad for you anyway. My old daddy, he went his whole life. He never took a bath. Well, how was your pa when he died? Oh, my God. Morton, the sheriff. Is he dead? Man that is born of woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. He fleeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Then knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. You are the next of kin. <coughs> First cousin, uh, once removed, actually. Under mighty God, we commend the soul of our brother departed. We commit his to the earth. Earth to earth. Ashes. Sitting there waiting for us. Oh. How'd he know when nobody knew? Well, we done throwed him off the scent. Hey, throw me some of that beef. Think they got Tom? Oh, Tom. Miss him, I'll say. Can I leave these muddy waters anyway? That's where they are. The trail keeps on down the creek that way, Pat. Spread out along the trail. <laughs> Billy! Come on out, I know you're in there. Scared! Out this, Billy. Won't you come on in here, Pat? Well, you come on out and be sociable. Sure would hate it if you take cold out there. It's healthful. They got us for sure, Billy boy. Nothing's for sure. You might as well throw them that pine. Sheriff. Yeah. This Billy ain't the only one that's got some luck. Hold your fire. Let's wait him out.
day it is? It's Thursday or something or other. I got to know when the moon comes up. Well, hold on, I'll figure it out. 15th was a Monday. The last Monday was the 22nd. Boys, it's Christmas. <laughs> It's my intention. It's due here soon, eh? Now, who's that? Yesterday, Billy was seen west of Stinking Springs with a wagon of beef. Oh, come on now, Pat. You know I don't buy from him. He'll be coming in on the Texas road. We'll be waiting at the old Indian hospital. I don't want nobody getting word to him. You read me? How long are we going to stay in Fort Sumner, Billy? Long enough to do some dancing and gambling. And if old Pat's around, maybe we can cook up a shooting contest. She's been giving Pat the devil's own time. Old Pat running there, old Pat running here. Hey, there's the old hospital. We almost home. Some men coming down the road. Can't tell where they are. It's about six of them with the wagon. It's him. Now hold your fire till I give the word. Shoot me, Pat, please. If you just have a friend, shoot me. You just take your medicine, boy. Shut up, Bo. Best I ever talk. Shoot me, Pat, please. It hurts. Where's Billy hiding, Tom? Back at the spring. I'm really dying, Pat. Yeah. Where at the springs? We better catch up with the others, huh? What springs are you talking about? Stinking springs. I think I know exactly where he's hid. Let us marvel, not envy. Oh, shut up. I heard. He square the governor? He don't like Dolan. Said that publicly. Best shot there is, huh? Mm, the world is agreed on that. He just lucky. Don't frown on luck, my friend, or she will frown on you. I drink to William Bonnie's luck. Uh, good night, little casino. Not the casino. Hey, kid. Yes, sir. I'll make you a bet. Well, I like gambling. Well, what's the bet? Then I kill a man tonight before you do. Joe oh, Grant, you've been drinking too much. Why don't you go on outside and get some fresh air? What do you want to kill a man for? $25. There it is. Now you put yours up. That is, unless you're afraid. Pat there can hold the stakes. Why don't you just forget this? No. I'll bet. If it makes you happy. Now, uh, let's see what kind of gun you got.
This old gun's the last thing many men ever saw, that's for sure. <laughs> I bet that's true. Woo, look at that. All covered in pearl. I love things covered in pearl. Yeah. I bet you got that in Texas. Mm hmm I also bet you got somebody picked out already. That's for sure. Yeah. Good night, Pat. Good night, Billy. Good night, Joe Grant. Gun, Miss Fard. Yeah. Sure was lucky. Pat, I forgot to give you wedding presents. Oh, thank you, Billy. That's for you. Does this mean I can't go down to Lincoln? No, it means you can't. Self defense, Mr. Barney. I'm the witness. I'll go with you. As long as there's a price on your head, you're gonna need eyes in the back here. Shot through the heart. Shot dead. I knew it was him. I heard his voice come out of the darkness. When I heard that voice, I fired. You've done it, Pat. I can't believe you've done it. You had Drew Billy the kid. In the dark, Billy had no chance. Is that right? So what do you say about that, Pat? Say? I say I killed Billy the kid. There's nothing more. I come to make a visit. Pat Garrett's in town. He's looking for you. Yo lo sé. Pa, I want Billy to stay with us tonight. Aquí? Sí. No! I thought we was friends. Billy, for your own sake. Go. Leave Fort Sumner. Leave the territory. Because Pat Garrett's in town? No, because this is no place for you anymore. 
We can tell him the truth, can't we? We saved him from hanging. People here change. You don't. We want new things. Order. Safety. But do no, you don't. So please, William Bunny, leave us. Todos sus amigos están muertos. Hear me. All of your pistolero friends are dead. And now God waits to strike you down. See? Might I have the pleasure of your company? <clears throat> and might I drink a toast to your health? <laughs> yes. Your continued health. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, that was good, sir. <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> Most bracing. <clears throat> Well, Mr. Bonney, you are alone at last. Huh? The others, one by one, have all fallen away. Tunstall, Tom O'Follier, Charlie Baudry. Only you are left. Hmm. Must mean Pat. <laughs> you and your pursuer, the loving huntsman, the smiling nemesis. Was that? Mm. It's my, uh, Baroque manner. All I have, sir, are my words. Words are all I can repay you with. For giving you whiskey. For giving you tragedy. Stop it, old man. You stop that crazy talk. Oh, just think. At this moment, the children on the streets of a thousand cities play at being you while he, you sit Billy the Kid himself alone. Oh, where is your nimble? your sign of glory.